Hello, everybody. Oh, this is Val, but this is how you do it. I was just sitting up in the chair just then. And um, I'm going to do something that I haven't done in a while. And I'm going to uh, get myself together. It's four day in the morning. Uh, I would have done it earlier, but Will and I was sitting and talking and having coffee and all of that good stuff, you know. And uh, when he left, you know, I took my shower, uh, washed my hair with conditioner. Uh, I used VO5, but the thing that I did was I slept up under a plastic cap uh, with conditioner and oil and all of that good stuff to uh, give my hair a deep treatment. And um, I rinsed it out this morning with uh, VO5, uh, then shampoo I rinsed uh, several times. And you know, I'm, and when I, in doing all of that, when I do my hair, my eyelashes and things come off like that. But I decided to come on and spend some time with you guys. Um, I'm going to put some oil on my hair because I didn't do it in the shower because the oil was in here. This is a coffee with me. And um, Willie and I, I would, where well, I was, and Willie was just doing some talking. And, um... Sometimes I just listen to him because I figure he's a man, and sometimes listening to him lets me know how men think. How men think. Uh, this is Hawaiian silky. Uh, this is not the pink. This is the orange, so it doesn't work as well as the pink to me. But this all I have right now, so I'm gonna put this on. Um. Take the ring off. He was saying, you know how ladies, I don't know what the deal is. Are we taking stuff for granted? Or what's going on now with, with the generation of today? Um, I, I don't have nothing to hold my hair with. That's what I was looking for. Um, I think we're taking stuff for granted. Just because... There is a style out there and people are doing a certain thing and, and ain't nobody saying nothing. Uh, he was saying that he don't know what the world coming to or what women are thinking about because he hates seeing going in the grocery store, Walmart, places like that, and seeing women out there in their pajamas. <laughs> And you know, ladies, I got pajama pants, and I know that's the style. People wear a big shirt over their pajama pants, and then they think it's all right. And he was just, and he was, what what made him say that was that uh, a lady came on the news, and she had on uh, a little bit of short skirt and a little bit of top, top like a halter top, but then you could see her um, her stockings like a garter belt and he said i don't know what's going on with women that make that think showing their underwear is sexy and you know me i'm picking up for the girl um he was just saying what has happened to our generation that it's okay to show your underwear <laughs> and i just thought that may be a topic of conversation for this morning because we take it for granted. Oh, it's the style. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Because I told Will, I said, I said, these blue pajamas that I, I wear, I don't even know if they're not in here. And I got, I got red like that. I got black like that. I say, if I put on a big shirt like yours, you know, one of your blue shirts or a black shirt or, or a, a shirt that's color, the color of the pajamas and wear it to the store, and my, it covers my butt. I said, that's presentable. And he was like, uh-uh. No, it ain't. He said, you ain't going nowhere with me like that. You know. And I was just, thought I'll, I'll bring, that up, bring that topic up. What we take for granted. And how we're not doing the things that we know to do to be a lady. And know what's acceptable, but just because it's a fad, fads come and go, but a lady remains the same. 
I think that's a good title for this video. Fads come and go, but a lady remains the same. You know. Um, I think he's kind of old school, which is true enough. But when a man is looking for his mate, he's not looking like looking for a run-of-the-mill woman that'll go show her underwear to any man. And then we wonder, why ain't nobody talking to me? Why I can't hold on to this? Why did this and why that? Sometimes... We don't look like marriage material, or we don't look like mate material. We just look like material. I don't know. I don't know what I'm... I don't know. He, sometimes he just make me think. That's all. And it's early in the morning. Uh, just turned 5, 30, And I'm getting myself together for the rest of the day. And I think I used to tell people... That if you get yourself together first thing in the morning, like, like what I'm doing now, no matter what happens throughout the day, you're together. I mean, if we put on our makeup and put our, uh, our uh, primers on, most time it lasts till nighttime. At least mine do. I may have to reply, uh, uh, I reapply my lipstick. May, sometimes, sometimes I don't. Depends on what I'm. If I'm wearing a lip stain or or a Mac lipstick, the matted kind. Sometimes that'll last a long time. Even when I'm drinking coffee, which I do have this morning, because this is a coffee with me video. And I haven't been done a coffee with me video in a long time. And this is my coffee cup. And those that don't know, I do have a thing called t-shirt.com where I sell these coffee cups with my image on it. I probably get 2%, y'all. Probably not enough to even tell that, uh, that I made anything. But then, you know, some people wanted my image, so I, I, put, I put it out there. Well, anyway, that's what I was thinking about this morning. And then I, I saw some of my old videos. Um, it's a young lady that's been watching my videos lately. She watched several of my old videos when I did a coffee with me. And uh, I was just talking, you know, expressing myself the way I do. And since I've been in the YouTube Nora group, I haven't done that in a while. And the group has nothing to do with it. It's just that I've been making those little short videos. We are doing a vlog a day and things like that. And sometimes, you know, getting it in becomes work instead of, and then you kind of change from the thing that you love to do is just sit down and talk. This therapeutic sit down and talk. And I can't forget about um, my people that like that. You know, people might say, oh, girl, that's a 30 minute video, a 20 minute video. But if that's what your faithful ones are used to you doing, and they still with you, and they've been with you from the very beginning, well, evidently they like that. <laughs> they like that. And so you have to look out for your new and your old sometimes. I'm all over the place again this morning with my conversation. Just throwing a little bit of tidbits here and there. And I've been in sort of a, I don't even want to say mood or what, but I haven't been on it, I guess. I haven't been doing my walking. That's, uh, that's, I'd like to t uh, show y'all the real me. I haven't been doing my walking and exercising like, like I used to do. I don't know what happens. Sometimes people, we get tired. We get tired sometimes, and then we take a break, and sometimes our body will let us know we need a break, right? Sometimes your body will tell you you need a break. And before my body tell me, they I'll sit your tail down somewhere. Look at that, that thing hesitated. Y'all, I 
I'm going to film this like this because I'm not using my camera. I'm using my Chrome. And the reason I'm using my Chrome tablet this morning is because I like to see myself while I'm talking. I like to see myself while I'm talking. And it's hard to see yourself with a camera. I mean, it's a camera. And you really don't see yourself. And so that's one thing I like about using a laptop. I like to be able to see myself. And one day the Lord is going to bless me with a nice laptop so I can I, I can use a UCAM. Because this right here is a Chrome um, Samsung little bitty tablet like thing. It's a notebook. I don't know what you call it. It ain't it ain't a laptop, that's for sure. Then it, it don't have all the the uh components where I can um uh, make a video ahead of time and then upload it. So I gotta go straight through YouTube because it doesn't have that feature. And by I've tried to get that feature. I went to Chrome and tried to download stuff so I can do that. But it's not the same. All of this stuff looks cheap and, and and tawdry and and I just don't like it. So I would I like the UCAM, but that's just me. That's what I'm used to. Mm. Okay. Well, I'm doing my hair this morning, and then I'm going to put my makeup on and my eyelashes. I was looking at that video that I did the other day. Not the other day. A while back, because a lady asked me what kind of lipstick I was using. And I knew it had to be uh, MAC, because I had on red lipstick. I knew it had to be Ruby Roo or... or uh, Russian red, but when I looked, I, I looked at the video myself, and it was uh Ruby Roo, Ruby Woo. I don't even know what. Mm. I know who it came from, Rihanna. So, but I just saying there are all these names these people come up with. Good gracious. Well, anyway, I was looking at the eyelashes I had on, and I get my, I got, I get my my eyelashes. Well, it's nothing particular, but those particular eyelashes I got from Amazon. You get seventy in a box, and I think it was like it'll probably be like uh, twelve to fifteen dollars now. But it was ten dollars when I bought them, and I was looking at those thick eyelashes, and I was saying, God, I, I hope I ain't used up all them eyelashes. I ain't worn them in a long time, and um, I looked in the box, and I found some like it, cause those were some pretty eyelashes I had on, and I wanted to put some on this morning. Not going nowhere. I'm getting made up to go outside and cut the grass, y'all. Let me show y'all how to crank up a lawnmower. I don't know. Because I forget that I have become a country girl now. And everybody don't do the kind of stuff I do. Because I didn't even cut my own grass before I met Willie. Well, I did use a push mower before. You know, but for a riding mower and stuff like that. I ain't had that kind of yard. And if I did, then you, you got somebody else doing that, not me. So I'll probably show a little bit of that this morning. Yes, I'm using Hawaiian Silky. And this is a wash and go. This is what they call a wash and go. You're supposed to be able to wash your hair and go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't have to straighten it flat iron or nothing like that. Drip dry all the way out the house. <laughs> that spray bottle I got the other day, y'all, if you but uh I'ma show it because sometimes these videos get back almost a year old and people watch them like they just you just made them yesterday. Well anyway, that spray bottle I got the other day. I put a little bit of conditioner in it and very little oil in it because I didn't want to mess it up because I'm taking, I'm taking a chance. And then somebody wrote up under my video that they had a bottle like that, and they did that, and their bottle was fine. So I tried it, and I, I used it, and it sprayed just fine. It didn't, it didn't tear it up because I didn't want to tear it up, y'all, because that, that fine mist of water coming out like that, because I would have been satisfied with just spraying my hair with water, then putting the oil on it and putting the conditioner on it and, uh, separately. I would have been fine just with that, because I didn't want to take that kind of chance, but somebody else said that they already had that bottle, and they, they put their stuff in there, and it works just fine, and I was glad to hear that, very glad. Uh, this is my curls. I'm activating my curls. 
I don't know if that took too much from you. I have to try to cover this back up because when I do it sometimes, it be like um, messed up in the back. I don't know what it looked like. I have to straighten it up if it don't look good um, afterwards. And this light that I just turned on, I have a mirror sitting in front of me with those lights that uh, with those uh, mirrors that cover up, close up, and it be closed like that, and then you open it up, and then you have two mirrors on the side and one mirror in the middle, and then you have lights around it. So that's what you see. And I'm finished with that. Wipe my hands off. Mm. Always have a towel with you. Then get one of these little wipes for, for water. To help get some more of that off. So I can get started with something different. And I see it 16 minutes into the video. And I haven't did nothing but my hair. Can you do your hair in 15 minutes down? Oh, yeah. Can you do your hair in five minutes, Bell? I could if I stopped talking. I didn't bring another towel in here. And I'm telling y'all, I always have a towel. I always have a rag. I always have something. Okay, let me smell pretty for a minute. I'm about out of this. I think this is an Avon product. The top just flew up in the air. Let me try something else. I'll get that top in a minute. I like to smell pretty while I'm operating on myself. <laughs> Let me get this right here. This from Victoria's Secret. Sheer Love. That's what it's called. It's just a misting bottle. You, did you see what I do? I do that on my sheets and in my bedroom, on my curtains and things like that. I smell good, but then I put it in the air, put it on the sheets, put it in the bed, in the bedroom, all over the bedroom. And sometimes I spray my couch and my curtains. And so when you walk in my house, you smell, I take over the house. Yeah, my fragrance is in the house. Even when the man come home, he walk into it and smell that sweet Victoria's Secret fragrance. That's that scent that a lady carries. That's that sweetness. That that love, <laughs> love. <laughs> but um, I never really thought about that. But that's commanding your atmosphere. That's taking over your atmosphere. Cause if he walked in the house and that scent was not there, something would be missing and he wouldn't know what it was. Even if he sit back on something, girl, that's how you take that person's mind, honey. He sit back on something and he he smell it, but he's get, he get used to that scent, but then he don't know he's getting used to it. The fragrance of you, the smell of you, the touch of you, the feel of you in the air, in the house, everywhere. Don't just capture the heart, capture the mind. I used to say that, y'all. I used to say, because a man be trying to get in your drawers. And I said, you got to capture my mind before you capture my body. I don't just jump like, I'm hot, I'm ready, let's do it. Uh-uh, capture the mind before you capture the body. That's that's what it that's what it takes. I ain't going to even... Mm. Well, this is um some um primer for the foundation. 
from Sephora. It don't matter. Get what account primer you want to use. It don't matter. Don't let me. Don't get me the line because I haven't tried every primer there is. Matter of fact, this is the only, the first and only primer that I ever used on my face. I don't know about the rest. I, I put it on my eye, eye, eyes too, because I'm gonna put my foundation all over my face. I put it all over my over my eyes also, not just uh around my cheekbones and neck and all of that good stuff which I do put it on my neck and I need to wipe some of this water off while I'm working now I'm gonna put some foundation on and I'm using this because this is what I have and I'm gonna have to mix it with a dark shade I may not have to mix it yeah, I'm going to have to mix it because of the sun. The sun has changed my color. So, don't worry about what kind, what color it is, y'all, because I'm mixing it. So, telling you what color it is ain't going to help because this ain't my color. But they, they, they from Sephora also. But they, them folks don't sell the right shade for people of all color. You, we have to mix and match. Now, one that I found that is like exactly my color is this right here. In a 45. Now, that's my color. I'm going to have to pick, get some more of that. Now, that pretty, that's pretty good. Let me get closer. That's for me mixing and matching it, see. So that's a good thing. This was a gift for me, to give to me. Both uh, everything you seen me use so far on my face was a gift, and I do appreciate it too. Now, since I thought about that, let me go and put the the wrinkle cream on under my eyes, cause this oil, even if you use a vitamin A oil like the vitamin A pills that you get in in the grocery store, and you and you break the end of it. And you squeeze that oil out and put it right here. Now, I know there are some light-skinned ladies that have circles around their eyes. And I found that dark-skinned ladies have those circles too. Now, when I had mine, Tanya said, would work for a dermatology uh, person. And they, she sent and gave me some vitamin A. And it was, it was uh, oil. And... I put that up under my eye, and those dark circles went away. That's just a, a, a little tidbit for people that have that problem. And I was going to say that because you can get the vitamin A right out of them little pills that you, t that you them gel tap pills that you take. But they do sell vitamin A oil on, on um, Amazon, I think. It's not that high. I think I saw some for $5.00. It depends on which one you get. See how they look? And I put the, put the, the remainder on my neck because I don't want to look like I got a mask on when I put my makeup on. It it just look like an even flow from from here to here. I didn't do all the contouring, and I'm not gonna do it today. I'm cutting grass. what I'm going to do. I done took a bath, did my hair, putting on my makeup, waiting till the dew dry up on the ground because you don't cut the grass while the grass wet because it'll mess up your blades and it'll mess up your, uh, it'll, it'll mess up, no, it clogs up under the blades and then the rubber on the ride lawnmower starts to, um, because it get wet, stretch, and then you end up having to get a new belt. I, I call it rubber, but it's a belt. You don't want your belt to start slipping and then you have to buy another belt. I'm going to put on some of my MAC Red Lipstick. No. Oh. Ain't none in here. Wait a minute. Oh, that one. I put the MAC Lipstick in my purse so much <laughs> that it be all over the place. So in my vest, this one right here, it's a Ruby Rule. I 
I can't see it. It's either it, Ruby Rule has that writing on it, and I think I see that writing on it. That's why I said that. makes a difference already don't it already I'm gonna come back y'all and do a short video very short maybe less than a minute probably a few seconds and I'm gonna do a shout out video for a young lady and I want y'all to Go over and uh, subscribe to her and give her a little encouragement. Everybody needs some encouragement, y'all. And when I do that video, y'all please do. It ain't going to be that long. Not long as this one. This is for my people that like long videos. It looked like my mouth moving. <laughs> and the words weren't coming out at the same time. But we going to keep this moving. Um, Let me get... Just, I'm just grabbing something. This was a gift to me also. And I'm going to put this on right here. Honey, I'm going to put on one of these blues like back in the day blue. Wait a minute, let me put, uh, put on some primer. From Sephora also. And that was gifted to me too. You say, damn, you got some good gifts, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, I did. And I so appreciate them. They were very good gifts. Not that the other ones weren't good, but this person spent too much money. That's what I think. I can't be in other folks' pocket. It, it was, it was, it's, it's a lot to me. I can't say that it was too much money for her. But it, it's, I couldn't have never got it myself. That's, that's what I'm talking about. I couldn't have never, I couldn't have never spent that kind of money. Not on makeup when I need food. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. But um, let me go and put this on. And I am using my finger, y'all. Did you? Ooh, look at the blue on that, honey. Yes. Mm-hmm. And I did it with my finger, and I'm already through. I used to be real good at contests, y'all. You know, follow them at follow them every detail of it. And so I used to win a lot of contests. I got I stopped doing contests. Well, I haven't stopped. I'm I'm started back because some of my uh, YouTube normal people are doing doing contests right now because they are a young uh, a young station. I don't know what you call it. Well, anyway young channel and they are having contests now and to show support you know i like to show support so i'll get in a contest but i had stopped getting in contests because i was winning so much and i wanted to give somebody else a chance to win isn't that something i say well you don't want enough stuff give somebody else a chance stop getting in these contests and then i i listened to what they are said <laughs> And I, didn't, I I stopped getting in them so much because I was winning them back to back, back to back. Well, if you do what the people say, you have a chance to win. And if they do random pick now, that's the only time when I might not win, when they do that random dot or sting. Because, but if they go by what, what they ask somebody to do, and they go above and beyond and do it, and they just pick according to that, I normally win those. Because I do my very best. And I be out to win. Your girl is very competitive. She be, I don't just get in them. I be trying to win them. I really do. I don't, I be really trying to win. <laughs> yeah, that's me. 
I be trying to win that stuff, baby. <laughs> like I just won this spray bottle. I went out of my way to win this spray this spray bottle, and I won it. <laughs> and I told you I was going to show you. I put some conditioner, some oil, and some water in it, just a little bit. Shake it up, and I hope you see. Watch. You see that? Let me do it again. Perfect. Perfect. And it's not running all down my neck. I wanted this, honey. I wanted this. And I got it. And I thank the Lord for it. <laughs> well... I don't know where you get it from or how you go about getting one. I, I call myself looking it up on Amazon, a spray, a water, I called it a spray, um, I call it a misting water bottle. I typed in something like that, a, a water bottle, a misting water bottle, a mist water bottle. And and it, and it came up, y'all just have to figure it out, a misting bottle. But I left the lady name on that, on that video when I won it. So if anybody want one, um, it was two videos before this one. If anybody want one, they can uh, ask her where she got it from. Because I didn't buy it. And it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. I have some... Uh, some highlighted stuff. Do you know how... Now, I can do that strobe and have people get that, that uh, Egyptian gold face all over them. Yeah, I've done that before. And now then it came up with, that's a term for that. Ain't nothing new under the sun, y'all. Strobing. I have done that. I did, I did a video about that before this stuff even came out. My Egyptian look. Well, right now, I'm just highlighting my cheekbones. My whole face looked at gold, but you can't tell because of the color of my skin. And so you can't really tell me when I'm strobing or whatever they call it. Child. Ain't nothing new on the sun. Young folks come up with stuff and they think they thought of it. All it is is highlighting. Let me put my eyeliner on now. Liquid. Yeah, I can put it on with one sweep, but I'm just going over to make it thick. I bet you say, Val, this is the quietest you've been through the whole video. Yeah, I be trying to get these eyes together. I think my eyes is one of my best features. And my lips. Now, my eyebrows, I don't care too much about all that, trying to de define them. and I think the Lord made them perfect just the way they are. I could make them a little darker, but that's not my thing. But I have done it to make them darker. So, and everything don't open up when I need it to open up, so I keep it moving. 
And this ain't open it up. It's a mascara. Okay. Oh, eyelashes. Since I talked about the eyelashes, I need to put them on. These are the ones I'm going to put on today. They're not the real thick ones that I was telling you about that I, that look so good on me. But um, these are the ones I'm going to put on today. And I'm running out of my glue. I had to pick some of that up. Probably from Walmart. I don't think they sell the black, but they do sell the white. And it works just as good. Only thing is, it, it goes on white, but it will dry clear. So, no problems. Blow it to, uh, so it'll get a little tacky if you got an umbrella fan it, but... I'll fan it. And you look down in a mirror for you so your eye will be shaped like the uh container that the lashes came out of. And you can put some mascara on your eyes up beforehand, but that's up to you. And when you look down, it should go on perfectly. And because you fanned it to get it a little tacky, it will sit there. And all you got to do is, is push it in place where you want it to be. And hold it for a few seconds and your eyelashes are on. See that? I'll readjust it then. I do have tweezers. And these were gifted to me also. The reason I'm saying that the things were gifted to me because I was I'm just letting you know how how my fans care about me, how they love me, and it's a blessing. All that jewelry on the wall right there, that came through um, through prize mail, love mail, and stuff like that. And I appreciate that. And these, this video is for them, for you guys. Because I was making videos like this all the time, and you are the guys that hung in there with me, watched all my videos, and um, sent me love mail and prize mail and um, cards saying I'm thinking about you right up under my video, say Val, I just love you, and, and things like that. Y'all just don't know how those words of encouragement and those little things got me through some dark times. It didn't seem like I was going through dark times because I was able to talk to you every day. And talking to you every day was kind of, like I say, therapeutic. And it got me through. And I appreciate that. I appreciate y'all. I appreciate y'all being there. Um, I don't know. Now I got to look at the video before, because it's on private now, to, to remember what I said I was going to call it since I talked about so much stuff. I got to rewatch it and call it whatever I said I was going to call it. I didn't fan this one, y'all. That's why it's acting up. But we're going to keep it moving. It ain't just staying there once I lay it down. Fanning it. Everything is is meant you do you do with a purpose in mind. And this is the hardest side for me to do for us. You know, sometimes you have an easy side to do and sometimes you have a hard side to do. This is my hard side. I'm gonna cut this light out in a minute to see so y'all can see see it a little better. I don't know if this will help you see it a little better or not, because it's a lot of light on my face, y'all. Mm-hmm. Say, Val, girl, you look like yourself. I look like myself, y'all, because I took my time 
and came before y'all and talked to y'all almost an hour. Get out of here, Val. These the eyelashes, ain't it? Uh. <laughs> Say, Val, girl, you know you can wear them thick eyelashes, can't you? Mm-hmm. And I'm going to get off this thing because there is nothing else left for me to do. If I'm going to look like this cutting grass, what you say? What you say? Girl, if you was going somewhere, what would you look like? Hey. <laughs> the same. <laughs> this is how this is how you do it. And I will talk to all you beautiful people on the next video. It's early in the morning. And I'm ready for anything. Bye-bye now.